cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mummy and Daddy Pig. <coughs> what? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <laughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <laughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem. Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> what a cuckoo! noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo! <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. Never mind, George. You can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa, George, <laughs> time to see Cuckoo. Quick, George, you can't miss Cuckoo again. Oh. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> Did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! 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 cuckoo. Peppa and George love playing cuckoos. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! It is night time. Peppa and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo! Peppa and George are asleep. Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy! Daddy! We've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. <laughs> George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. 
George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa! George! Come inside! The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ooh, that's disgusting! <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello. Where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Peppa, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George. Please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and quiet. <laughs> It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Pirate Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Full sail. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! 
here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Aha! We found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy! Oh dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> What a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig, wake up! Wake up! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello? hello? Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh, actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa. We're saved! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making lunch for Peppa and her family. I've dug up some more potatoes. Oh, Grandpa, we've already got plenty of potatoes. You can never have too many potatoes. OK, but get the potatoes in the oven. The others will be here soon. Oh, oh we've plenty of time. It's only 11 o'clock. Peppa and her family are on their way. I wish we'd set off sooner. We're going to be late again. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We've still got loads of time. We're always late when we go to Granny and Grandpa's. <laughs> Not this time. I've found a new way that avoids all the traffic. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. Peppa and her family are stuck in a traffic jam. Look, there's Danny Dog. And Grandad Dog. Danny Dog and Grandad Dog are in the traffic jam too. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> We're going to my Granny and Grandpa's for lunch. We're going to be late. 
It's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. The poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Peppa's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Peppa. Good luck. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Lunch is ready. And most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here. But they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <coughs> the food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig, <coughs> load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look! There's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potatoes! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the road. Are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George has a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> Dinosaur! 
George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sand pit. <laughs> George and Richard love the sand pit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. Oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sand castle. Your brother broke my brother's sand castle first. Now, now, you two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm, I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <laughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <laughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look! George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Peppa. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow. Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Peppa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello.
Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow. <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> This is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them, and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> 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 Peppa and George are going to the playground today. Should we drive to the playground? No, let's walk. Look, it's just over there. The playground is quite close. <laughs> OK, let's walk. This way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Where has the sky gone? Don't worry, Pepper. It's just fog. What's fog? Fog is a cloud that is on the ground instead of in the sky. Ooh! Hmm. It's very thick fog. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Maybe we should go back home. Yes. We'll go to the playground another day. Oh. It is too foggy to find the playground, so Pepper and George have to go back home. Now, which way is home? Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly where we are. This way! Oof. Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way! Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Peppa. We're only in our garden. <coughs> oh, it's the ducks. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Have you lost your pond? <coughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> 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 Now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I 
thought I heard someone say... Hello! It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <coughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we. But it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. <coughs> this way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy? Where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! <laughs> seesaw, seesaw. Daddy! Mummy! Ground. Well, that's lucky. But I thought we were trying to get home. So did I. Maybe we did get a bit lost after all. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon ride. It is the day of the school fate. Miss Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> The red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And a teddy. Dinosaur! Oh, and a teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Hop aboard! <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead! Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Pepper. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon, bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky, fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy, I've dropped Teddy. <gasps> Don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! <laughs> oh dear, no one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! 
Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree, and now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Uh. We are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look, everyone. That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes. We must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. Uh, help, please. Grandpa, we can't get down. Don't worry, I've got a ladder. Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <coughs> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. <coughs> I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> that was the best balloon ride ever. <coughs> And that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> Jumble sale. It is a rainy day, and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Pepper is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Pepper, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr. Dinosaur. <coughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat, and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know the television. Not the telly. No. It's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. <coughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. 
the parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Pepper. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> Zoe Zebra, the postman's daughter. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah, oh, Pepper and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, Dad. Post! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting. Dear Mr Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. <laughs> Bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for Peppa and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Peppa and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> you need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Peppa and George are writing a reply to Zoe. What would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about... We would love to come to your party. Kind regards, Peppa and George. <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. <laughs> and here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness. So many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> 
everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zoe! Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. Oh, and who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? <laughs> Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Ha -ha. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Camping, everyone! Bye bye! Uh -oh. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. <laughs> Children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, Gazelle sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. <laughs> What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Tiny creatures. 
Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig pick vegetables. Peppa, here is a lettuce. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? Look, there's a horrible monster on it. Monster. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that's not a monster. It's just a little snail. Oh, where has he gone? He's hiding in his shell. Is that where he lives? Yes, it's his house. Look, he's coming out again. Hello, Mr Snail. <laughs> Grandpa, does Mr. Snail have a bed in his house? Oh, oh no, Peppa. If I were a snail, I'd have a bed and a table and a chair and a fridge and a television. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Grandpa, what do snails eat? Well, mostly they eat my vegetables. Oi, stop that, you cheeky rascal. <laughs> Grandpa, George and I want to play cheeky snails. Oh, 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 oh. These baskets can be your shells. There, now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi, keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> It's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 My, buzz, buzz. what busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. Now we must fly back to our hive to make honey. Buzz. <laughs> Goodness me, what do we have here? Granny, we're busy bees. Buzz. Ah, would you busy bees like some toast? Yes, please. And what would you like on your toast? Honey! That's lucky, because that's what I've made. Toast and honey. Hooray! I like being a bee, because they eat lots of lovely honey. I like being a snail, because they eat all Grandpa's lettuce. <laughs> Oi! Oh. You cheeky rascal! <laughs> 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 Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Peppa and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. 
why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs. That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> It is morning. Pepper and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. <laughs> Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Pepper and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Pepper cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Pepper's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed? And a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <laughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak, like this. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak! Squeak! Ho oh, ho! You'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite. Carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. This is Grandad Dog's garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. 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 I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. 
I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look! There's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No. You've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Peppa. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> Come to rescue you! Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello, I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken. And Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Do something, Grandad Dog. Oh, I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... ...and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs>